Hey, hey, party people, it's Lycona de Chichi, and here's my first clear run of the Cloud Deck Extreme. When this boss came out, I was visiting family and helping them out with family stuff, so at the time, I didn't get a chance to actually challenge this fight. So I want to give a big shout out to my friends in the FC for helping me get through this, and if you listen to them explain some of the main mechanics, hopefully they'll help you get your clear as well. So I'm going to let them take it away. So you just kind of stay here, the other party will teleport using these things again over to the other platform um, if the if diamond weapon uses the claws and the claws are on your platform you just have to move over remember that in this fight the teleporters has like a 15 second debuff that doesn't let you teleport to again for that duration so you have to make sure you're teleporting at the right time <clears throat> for the first claw he will also do either a stack or spread mechanic on us so, and you can tell that by either uh, shoulders or chest on the boss. If the shoulders open up, it means he's going to shoot missiles so we have to spread out. If there's a cannon coming out of his chest, that's a stack. Yeah, so for that one, just jump over to the safe side and then perform stack or spread. And then basically the tanks will get targeted with like flares. We stay away from the tanks while they pop cooldowns. Like while they're standing on like one and around one and two. And the party will stand around like on the side. Or at least close enough, not too close to the tank. Um second claw will Diamond Weapon will do the second claw attack and there won't be a mechanic attached to that. You just make sure the party who's on the not safe side jump over to the safe side. I also forgot to mention, after the first one, the party that didn't have to jump over will jump over. Yeah, I can call when the other team needs to cross. Just watch it for Adam and Purge, which is the claw, and then cross if you need to. Yeah. And then I'll call when the other team needs to cross. The opposite yep. team that didn't cross needs to. Yeah, and then the second one goes, second claw goes off. Same deal, just don't need to do stack and spread. And then he'll do a third claw and that one will be the opposite of the of the first one so if it will stack on the first sit, first claw then it'll be a spread on the third claw um that's about like pretty much the first phase and then after that i think for the third claw only the tank needs to jump over because they'll have to do the flare attack again but the rest of the party can stack still on the same platform <coughs> then he's gonna get mad and then he's gonna fire some hands uh, to fuck us up, uh, you get tethered. So there will also be a knockback circle, like around here, north and south of the platforms, uh, um, north or south of the platforms. So we need to go towards that. The hands will spawn in the middle, like here, four of them each, and you'll get like either a light purple, like a really thick purple one, or like a thin purple one. Um, the other way to tell is like if you're tethered to a claw on the other side you just stand like south basically like on the same platform get knocked back to the same platform basically if you stretch your tethers yeah you stretch your the tethers out are... yeah yeah so if you're tethered on this platform to a hand on this on the platform that you're on you want to get knocked over to the other platform, so you want to stand around here when of um, the knockback circle. Is the knockback from the circle, or is it from the hand? The cir it's the circle. The hand is just shooting a tether at you, so you're trying to stretch it out so you don't get one shot. So if the knockback's in the middle, and you're standing here, don't you go diagonally south? No. If you stand here, does like, um, the circle, the knockback yeah, circle no. be like right here, right? So oh, all you gotta do is like stand middle. here. Okay. Yep. The, the hands will be in the middle. Right. But you just need to make sure you're tethered. You need to know which hand you're tethered to. And then you just knock back accordingly. Um, and then... Let's do that much first. Thanking this as a death, Dark Knight. Death Knight. Dark Knight is the best. It's so good. Feels good, man. See how the other platform is actually red? Yeah, I see it now. 
Yep. Gotcha. We just color code things so it's easy. So just be a claw. So be a spread. Every fucking time. It's the only mortals we need across. Targetable in six seconds. Do the things, don't let the hands get you. It's kind of cool, it bounces you to the next platform. Yeah. Come over and it will be facing towards four. You can have the first mitigate, Icona. Uh, no, you can, cause uh, mine. Okay. Not. <laughs> <laughs> Double bubble. Such a great Ready game for trouble. <laughs> Bubble trouble. Or no, bubble trouble or double double bubble? I'm pretty sure it's bubble trouble. It's a little like alligator thing with the fucking bubbles, right? What again? All last does. You said it again, I don't. We're staying. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Anic the noises. If it, if it look at ball, do not be on that side of where the ball is. Of the, the column or whatever. The row. That's a tank busty. And it'll be untargetable in five seconds. Don't pop any huge things. Towards him? Towards him? Just towards him. You need to be on the side. And knock back blue laser. Stay on the triangle. Blessed. Make sure to watch the bits. 
Cross. Cross. And make sure you dodge the hands. Definitely did not dodge the hands. <laughs> I don't know how I did. That button was a bit screwed. I'm in. The tank buster. What are you mad about? Yeah. Oh, it's not dead yet. Oh wait, you went to us. Hey! Oh, yeah. Avoid the side of hands and it'll be... Away to away. the Stay on the sides. You can enter anti knockback. Be on the side without the hands. Yep. Cool, that's it. <laughs> So, because we're on the red platform, blues, so odds will cross for Limit Cut. Makes sense. Oh. Oh. Oh! Ooh. Oh no, she was too squish. Spicy. Tank I will move. Her, stay away from the tanks. We go to our numbers, corresponding numbers. Correct. Yep. Okay. Yep, you're free to go. Yep, and then move back in. Cool. Just stand on A. And reset the platforms. Yep, that's it. Yeah, you go. Next mechanic will be the flares. You want to go outside? He's mad because it's raining. He wants me to turn the rain off. Turn it, turn it off. Turn off the rain. So if you need to cross, wait for the lasers to go off before you cross. The hands will fire, big pew pew laser, very pain. It says it's an A stack. It is stack. But still watch for the bits. Yep. Dodge the hands. And other team cross. It's diamond raid immediately. This next part, we need to bait our gross AoEs in where the bad zone is, so where the hands spawn, and then roll across to the other platform. Do not be greedy, by the way. You want to like run off all the way to the edge of the next platform. So, sorry, I didn't hear that. What, what did we do? Bait your you AoEs follow me. in the bad zone. Come with me. Oh, yeah. So we're gonna stack here? Yeah. And then we run across to Immediately the cross. Yep. Oh, yeah. away. Dodge the bits and then take a tower each. I'll go for them. Oh. Ooh, nice heals. Oh, and then gosh, get yeah. away from the tank. Oh shit. Uh, uh, <laughs> kill him. <laughs> oh. <laughs> kill him. Do it. <laughs> no, I'm going to clear that was worth it. It's fine, we cleared. There we go. That's the cleanest I've ever seen that mechanic done. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Well, you say somewhat of a pretty no, sure. Alright. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> ooh, a plating. Oh, a barding. A barding. Or furniture. Uh, I'm gonna pass on the 